Hey everybody, Tabers here playing Mass Effect 3. We're in our apartment. We're gonna explore and listen to all these little. Let me up radio. Listen to that lovely music. Also, all the, uh. Admiral. No. Winslow? I don't know. I forget his name. A brand new ship. So My it's gonna ship. be a slowish episode, but. You don't forget that moment. The first time you're standing there. The whole crew looking to you for direction. Unforgettable. I'd led men and women before that. Seen a lot of combat already. Always managed to find my way home in one piece. Do that a few times, you begin to think you know better than the next guy. Maybe you do, I don't know. Can't sit but down. if you're lucky, really lucky, you find yourself on a good ship, in front of a good crew. A crew you can trust with your life. sail into the endless black ocean. I still remember my exo asking what my orders were. Shepard, I said, let's see what we can find. Alright. I hope there's not too many of these, but we'll see. Embarrassing moments? <laughs> I've got more of those than anyone will ever know. Only way to learn something. But if I had to pick one to share, I had just gotten promoted to N7. Full of myself, king of the castle. Found myself buying drinks for undesirables in some rundown bar in the wards. They toasted my recent promotion. Hell, they would have toasted Batarian slavers if it had got them more drinks. About the time my money ran out, my new friends turned on me. I was outnumbered. Things didn't look good. My plan to get out of there involved lots of punching. Well, that worked for a while. Then a table hit me. Or I fell down. When I came to, I saw a Salarian putting the rest of the troublemakers down. A Salarian? Moved like a damn cat, I swear. When everybody was out cold. Or running. He walked over and helped me up. N7, he asked. Yes, sir, I replied. He looked over my collection of unconscious friends, nodding. Not bad, human, he said. Then he walked away. I had met my first specter. Learned an important lesson that day. No matter how good you think you are, there's always somebody quicker, faster, and a hell of a lot smarter than you just around the corner. That little lesson's kept me alive more than once since then. That was embarrassing? I don't think that was embarrassing. This beeping is bothering me. I don't know what it is. Oh, I could hear from all the way over there. Huh. Well, at least it's not beeping anymore. I guess Joker wants some sushi. I'll go with the left pattern and... No, no, it's fine. I got a few minutes. First contact war? Yeah. I was there. How many bars does this place have? Combat. First for a lot of us. I remember one night early in the war. Strapped to my seat as our transport approached the LZ. Everyone was dead silent. Just the sound of breathing. Good men. I trained with all of them. We were always joking and horsing around, but not this time. Just the rattle of the shuttle, and that heavy breathing. Everyone was thinking the same thing. We're off to fight alien invaders. Aliens. Think about that. We all grew up wondering what was out there. If we were alone in the universe, now we knew. We weren't alone. And we were in trouble. So there we were. About to face an enemy as different and unknown as we could imagine. I knew I had to say something, keep the men relaxed. So I turned to the soldier beside me, Hendrix, I think, and asked him how his mother was doing. Fine, he said. Why? Because I heard your mama so ugly the Marines thought she was a Torian. Almost shot her. <laughs> I got a few smiles. Then Hendrix turned to me and said, 
Hell, Anderson, I heard it was a picture of you, Mama, that started this goddamn war in the first place. Scared the Torian shitless. Everyone had a good laugh at that. And the boys fought great that night. Sometimes that's all it takes. A joke, a pat on the back. Just a little reminder that everything's gonna be okay. Oh. All right, Anderson. <laughs> what was I talking about? Early days, right? People ask why I joined the military. Everyone talks about honor, duty, sure. But that's never the whole truth. It's a hundred little things that add up to commitment. I joined because of a dog. Yeah, a dog. This patchy, mean son of a bitch that used to bark at me every day on my way to school. He'd snarl and I'd start running. Get the hell out of me. I was just a kid. I remember being in a bad mood one morning. Angry, I can't recall why. When that dog started in on me, I snapped. Started barking right back. We both kept at it until we had nothing left. Dog never bothered me again. Why'd I join the military? <clears throat> Sometimes you just gotta howl to make things right. Barked a dog. Okay. Oh. Looks like you can buy stuff. I don't know how much of that'll be doing. I'll put these in our ship. Oh, go on to the next one. This one's done. Ooh, Normandy. What's that? SR1 or 2? I don't see any decals, so I don't know. There's one. Sure, I can talk about Commander Shepard. Big topic. There's been a lot written about the Commander, but most of it isn't true. People are quick to judge. They don't know the whole story. I don't even know the whole story. But I know the man. Worked with him. Fought with him. Trust him with my life. Shepard's had some rough patches. Who of us hasn't? He's been forced to fight a lot of battles alone. God only knows how he got out of some of that. Makes your head spin. Thing is, you never heard a complaint. Never once got, no sir, I can't do that. You never hesitated. Few people know what Shepard's been through. I'd like to think I come pretty close. And I worry sometimes he forgets. There's a whole bunch of people who lose sleep over him getting back home. Maybe it doesn't need to be said. Maybe we're too dumb to say it. Soldiers like the Commander are rare. Men like Shepard? Even more rare. Aw, oh, that's a nice compliment. Hmm. There's one there, what's over here? It's a big walking closet. your new questions here. That's bright. As a leader, do I ever feel that the ends justify the means? Spirit of law over word of law. I'm not going to touch that with a ten-foot pole, but I think I know what you're after. You're referring to the way I, um, arranged to have the Normandy released to Commander Shepard before the Battle of the Citadel. Yeah. I'm not sure how valuable hindsight is to the military. Obviously, it worked out for the best. Without the Normandy and Commander Shepard free to do what they needed to do, what we needed them to do, Saren might have taken the Citadel. I think it's clear what a different galaxy this would be if that had happened. I did what I had to. If I had been wrong, I would have gladly accepted the repercussions. The real trick is never being wrong. <laughs> if you're looking for more action and less philosophy in these notes, let me know. Why would we let you know? Anything in the bathroom? It's a big bathroom, but nothing. Hmm. I would like this apartment. How about you guys? There's a little bit too much wasted space, I think. 
That's cool. I got trees. Lots of trees. And left. Nothing. Oh, here's one. Oh, there's two. The Turians. Hmm. Well, mm, uh, I might not always see eye to eye with the politics and the individual, but I have a great respect for the Turian military. Any Alliance soldier lucky enough to take part in their training programs will certainly be better for it. Their precision, skill, and discipline come together in a way that's second to none. Not that I'm faulting our own people or training. It's just that after fighting Torians in the first contact war, years later, I had the opportunity to observe and train on Paladin. It was a turning point for me. And I would encourage any soldier to try it. It's a unique experience to put yourself in the squad of a Torian commander. My commander was an uncompromising bastard named Bartox Oryx. If you can find him, just ask how the platoon I commanded was trounced in his strategy game. Humbly. But I've used what I learned that day many times. The xenophobes will have their say. But I think it's vital that we do more of this kind of cross-species training. There you go. <laughs> and if you do find General Oryx, let me know. I owe him money. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> So, tombstone data. Admiral David Edward Anderson. Not sure why anybody would be interested, but thanks for asking. Um, I was born in London, June 8th, 2137. The last of three children born to Ursula and Paul Anderson. A nurse and a flight mechanic, respectively. <sighs> but that's a little dry. And someone's gonna spice this up, right? Never been much for the spotlight. Anyway, where was I? It was a second marriage for my parents. They were almost 50 by the time they had me. My mother worked shifts, so my father would often take me to the base. While he worked, I watched transport ships and fighters take off. Worked his whole life around space travel, my father. But he never left Earth. Not for a day. He was a good man. But that's just a side note. Don't put that in. Who is it, Kaylee? Oh, yes, I need to take that. I hope this is what you're after. I'll get to the more interesting N7 stuff next time. I think we already heard the more interesting N7 stuff. What is this? Let's say more art. Lots of art. Armor room. Ooh, master bath. I get in. Oh, come on. I want it. Should have like rain going on, or that TV should be so we could see it over here. Oh, well. nothing in here to play. Isn't it? That's everything. Alright. Yeah, I've been in here. Alright. Have I been in here? I don't even remember. You asked me to talk about the SSV Normandy. The Normandy SR1. As commander of the Tokyo, I nope. was consulted on the Normandy's design and on board yep. for initial training exercises. Yep. The average person probably doesn't know that the Normandy was a joint project with the Torians. Yeah. Acting CEO Eli Zander was no diplomat. She ran out of patience with Torian posturing and politicking during construction. The chief architect of the Drive Corps, Octavio Tatum, and his team of Torian engineers were in the CIC for final training exercises. Tempers flared when Zander pushed the limits of the stealth system waiting to vent the IES well past what Tatum was comfortable with. I tried to calm the situation, but it still ended with the Turian scientist in shackles and a human Turian fist fight at Cora's den later. Funny now, when I first laid eyes on the Normandy, she was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. 
Day after that training run, Admiral Wright found me on the bridge. She's yours, he said. Can't trust her to Xander. Send me a list of crew from the Tokyo you'd like, and prep for your first mission. Short command, thanks to Saren. Still, one of the highlights of a long career. And then you gave it to me. Thank you. Now I think we're done. I got a bathroom like on the other side of this. Yeah. Alright. Let's head out of this place. Maybe we can find Joker at a sushi? Told you this wasn't going to be most eventful. There we go. Now we got some sound going. I'm going to turn that right off. That was terrible. Well, that's our apartment. It's a nice little apartment. Little is a strong word. Because it wasn't little. It was big. It was nice. Yeah, I think this is definitely DLC. I picked up and completely forgot about. The future is very neon. music. I'm Shepard. I'm going to cut everybody. Ah, Commander Shepard. Your table is ready. Oh, we don't have to do anything. He just sent us right to... Oh, that's cool. Sent us right to where he wanted us to go. Koi Pond underneath. Oh, not just a Koi Pond. It's a... Entire awesome cool. Piece of coral or something in there. I love this place. How far back are we? There he is. It's all stuff we're gonna be eating. Hey Shepard, not bad, huh? The sushi place is serious, like French guy at the door, serious. Only had to save the galaxy twice to get a table here. You seen the line outside? But here I am, drink in hand. Best pilot in the universe and a rock star. <laughs> Any news from the Normandy? Ah, oh, you know, maintenance stuff. It's hard knowing a bunch of strangers or poking around in my ship. I, I mean, your ship. Actually. The best thing we can do right now is Parker and let the techs do their work. That's not what I <sighs> yeah, said. Yeah, you're right. Maybe an oil change, space tire rotation. Right. Trust me. It'll do her some good. Oh, I trust you. Not sure about those shifty aerospace engineers. Always stealing the silverware. Let someone else do the work for once. Hackett's orders. You're on shore leave. Yeah, whether we like it or not. I'm sure you'll manage. I may need a drink that comes with an umbrella. I'm the first human specter. I'll get you two umbrellas. Awesome use of power, boss. So, <laughs> your email said it was important? My email? I'm here because I got a message from you. The hell? I, I didn't send anything. Oh, we're gonna get shot at, aren't we? Commander! Excuse me. Sorry. Lion's business. Commander, this is urgent! I don't think that's the umbrella lady. Commander Shepard, I'm Staff Analyst Maya Brooks. Alliance, excuse me. Alliance Intelligence. There are people trying to kill you. <laughs> yeah, I think he's aware of that. <sighs> no, I don't mean Cerberus and the Reapers. I mean other people. New people. They're... It's... <sighs> Someone is hacking your account. Comm channels, personal records. They're targeting you specifically. Damn it. Targeting me? What do they want? 
The intel isn't definitive yet. Last time, I guess without definitive intel, we almost landed troops on a gas giant, which is bad. Hang on, Brooks. Take a breath. <sighs> From the top, what do you know? Excuse me, you don't have a reservation. Yeah, like they're gonna care. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's performance is brought to you by random acts of violence. Oh, don't shoot the fish tanks. Come on. Get down. Man, I love show business. Spread out, boys. Find me Shepard. What's with the backpacks? Stay there. I'm coming. Joker? Ow, my pancreas. Hey! Damn it. Got one, sir. Find the crew. I'm going after her. Find the crew. Got it. I know he has some type of disease. I just don't know what it is. Hey! <laughs> you used me as bait? Go. You used me as bait? It's a dead, you're right. I'll do it again. Did you see that? Savior of the Citadel uses brittle bone <laughs> guy as bait. He's here! I got shot. Brooks! <laughs> Hang on! We're gonna get a shot! I like this weapon. Pretty accurate. I don't know what he just threw at me. Oh. Hey, I'm running out of ammo though. Oh, more powers. That's the button I was looking for. They did not give me enough ammo for this. What if I wasn't a adept type user? That's the one that'll hurt him. Brooks, stay down! No. Anyone have any ammo, please? Uh. Hi, ammo? No. Nope. Commander. What? What? Missed that battle? Jeez. Commander. This pistol makes me really slow. <laughs> Up. Commander. Arming. Commander. Oh. Nice. Kinda. Commander. Now that we have that thing, it should do damage. Okay, or miss. Oh, wrong button. Sorry, right, I'm just being an idiot. Commander. There we go. That'll do damage if he's in the field. And then... Okay. Commander. Wrong button. There we go. Still no ammo. Commander. They were just gonna keep coming. Good thing I figured that out. <clears throat> That probably hurt a little bit. 
It's always falling great distances. Let's finish off the fall down the building. Showered by water and glass. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe the water's a little new. I don't like the pistol anymore. It's very heavy. Commander! I found a secure terminal. Are you okay down there? You got shot in the chest. What are you talking yeah. about? Feeling good. Brooks, you got hit. I know! I used Medigel. A lot of it. Um, all of it, actually. I know everything is a little bit bouncy. Where do you come from? I think you used too much. Get me a Alert new gun. I'll look for a way out. Okay. Maybe that means there's. Temporary travel restrictions apply. Nah. This area is unsafe. Thank you, Rip. Brooks. The bot thing. I see some sky cars across the gap. Maybe a landing pad. I'm checking the area. Transportation, no food, no. Ah, oh, it's a sky car lot. Cision motors. Get a shuttle over there. I'll find a way across. Okay. Come on, right. thermal cells. This area is unsafe. Oh, he's gonna bother so, me. So, um, it turns out CSEC has the whole area locked down. It's gonna be a tiny bit tricky to get you a shuttle. Keep at it, Brooks. You have ammo? Oh, yeah. also, stay off your calm. Well, except for me. It's hacked. That's probably how they found you. Who are these guys? I don't know. They really don't seem to like you. Yeah, I'm sensing that. Warning, lockdown in effect. Please stay in your homes. No. I need to get to my shop. Open the door. Is servers attacking? Oh my god. See, that shut the whole area down. Except for people on the roof. What's going on? Uh oh. Still don't have ammo. Or health. Hmm. Uh oh, I got ammo. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's just stay in cover. No, don't get more guys. You're doing just fine. Oh. Mm. No. My keyboard just disconnected for some reason. Oh. Did it again. This is not helpful. I can't do anything. I am sorry. I don't know what's going on. Come on. Give me a keyboard. Oh, goodness. Move. Move. Okay, keyboard back. Alright, slight technical difficulty, but we're still alive. That's not aiming. Oh, that's not good. Online. He's already dead. What a waste of ammo. Fine. Right, so Might fine. need a little backup. Thank the goddess. Joker explained what happened. I'm on foot, but should reach you soon. Excuse me, who is this? You're on an unsecured channel, and you're putting Commander Shepard in danger. Yummy. Alright. The gun is more effective than the powers. In considering danger? it's making me really slow. Hang on. Joker mentioned staff analyst Brooks, yes? That's her. Everybody play nice. Ammo. 
die. I'd rather not die. You know, it might happen. Ugh. Good to hear. Things are a little dicey. I yeah. will attempt to register. Surprise. <laughs> Thank you, Edie. Ooh, nice. Something we use. Brooks, found a way across. It's yeah. locked down. Try to override. What? I'm overriding. That. Are we gonna punch it? No. Oh. Don't open fire. Shepard, uh -oh. what are you doing? I heard that from here. It's all under control. I'm not doing anything. Thought I'd make things more interesting. I see. Did you sustain cranial damage in the fall, Commander? Losing drone! Oh. Hey, Shepard, Brooks sent me the nav point for the Skycar lot. I'll meet you there. Good. What do we know about these mercenaries? They have guns that don't like me. That's not helpful. Commander, I think it it's would helpful. really be great if you could stay off the comm. Hey, they called me. Ugh. Deal that apparently. Ultralight materials. More notes. All right. Stealing money. Where are we going? That way. Take it, apparently. Uh oh. I'm not here. Just gonna sit there and let me hit you?
Help is what they're shooting at. Having a bad day, Shepard? You could say that. Landing pad is over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. I have spectre I like status. your outfit. Uh, control panel, right. Uh, that was weird. I All heard right. you fell through a fish tank. We'll talk about it later. Yay, Shame. we level. <laughs> I quite liked that restaurant. We'll talk about it later. Can you bring me a pretty gun, too? Alright. Well, I've done a lot. I'm having a bunch of fun. But I'm going to end it here, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.